Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're making a spinner card with this Art Impressions stamp set called Frosting Spinner. I did also purchase the corresponding die, but you don't have to. You can always just fussy cut everything out. I'm also stamping on watercolor. I'm using Canson's watercolor paper, just a scrap of it, and stamping with VersaFine black ink. I will actually have all the supplies listed in the description box. Now I'm just going to come in with some coloring with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush. So I have been playing around with this. I am not in love with it yet, but it's just because I'm, I've been still trying. Every time I add water to it, it just bleeds out. So I'm kind of treating it as if it's a Copic marker where I'm just using it to color. And the colors are very vibrant and pretty, which I love. But, you know, the main purpose of it really is to go ahead and use it as watercolor. So then off camera, I just took both the dies and cut them out with my Big Shot machine. And so you have both sets now. Then I'm coming in with my nesting circle dies and I was trying to figure out what size circle for my hole for my spinner card. And I just cut it out. I think this is an old um, paper. I think it's from DCW, but as I mentioned, I will definitely go ahead and um, list everything in the description box. So what I did was I took the front part and then I grabbed my actual card base and then lined that up so then I can have the circles in the exact same place. Now I'm just coming in with some double sided tape and adding it to one side of the mouse and after that I'm so I wanted it to kind of loop down then around the little leg that's why I cut that in half and then I just got some white thread and looped it around as you'll see in the next one so I'm just peeling off the backing now and so here comes the thread so I'm just being really careful and it does come off pretty easily, especially when I was pushing it down. My hand was getting stuck on the adhesive. And um, so then I went ahead and added both sides of the um, double-sided tape. And I did actually run the tape over the actual string as well. So you want to pull it as tight as possible and then add the back side of the mouse onto it. After that, I'm going to go ahead and adhere it to the actual front of the card. So just kind of make sure everything's stuck. So I added both double side tape on the top and the bottom. And you want to pull it tight. So um, I had a little bit of problems. I was struggling a little bit because I would pull it and then it would come off. So first what I went ahead and did was just grabbed it. See my hand was getting stuck on the adhesive. So you want to cut out the extra. And then I went ahead and um, taped it again with double sided tape. And then I'm just removing the backing. After that, I went ahead and I could have actually waited to remove the backing on those ones. But then I, just, of course, just went ahead and just put tape all around everywhere. And then I'm adding that card front up there. And then I want to go ahead and stamp the sentiment that came with it. And it says, life is short, eat the frosting. So I'm just making sure I line up the circle before I press down firmly. After that, I just stamped the sentiment with VersaFine ink and added some clear embossing powder and then just embossed it. And that finishes the card. What you want to do is go ahead and wound it up, close up the card, and then slide it into the envelope so when your recipient gets it and they open it up, it will start spinning. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please give a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks again. Bye.